Hi, welcome everyone. In this video lecture, we are going to discuss about HTML forms. In designing a web page, we there will be an content will be displayed in a type of form. So, if for an for example, if you take a now create website, there will be an form which is called as an application form. You can uh, fill all the details in the application form and you can attach a resume. So where we go for an engineering admission or medical admission, there will be having an application form. So you will be having, you will be in the, in the education institution side and in, in most probably in all the web pages, there will be having a forms. So in this video, we are going to discuss how we are going to create a form in a web page and what are the tags used for creating a form. And what are the attributes available in the form? We are going to see in this video lecture. First, start with an, an HTML form is used to collect an user input. For getting an user input, we will be giving a form. The user input will be most often sent to a server for processing. The form element. Form is an HTML element to collect the input data containing interactive controls. We can collect the information in various types of things. That is, we, uh, for gender, we will be having some set of checkboxes. If we click mail checkboxes, the automatically the application form will be coming as a printout that uh, the applicant will be a mail. So, the getting an input can be in various types. It provides a facility to input types as numbers, values, email, password and control fields such as checkboxes, radio button, submit buttons, etc. Or in other words, form from form is a container that contains the input elements such as text, email, number, radio button, checkbox, and submit. Container is nothing but which consists of some set of attributes we call it as container. Forms are generally used when you want to collect data from the user. For example, user wants to buy a bag online. So he or she has to first enter their shipping address in the address form and then add their payment details in the payment form to place an order. So each and everything is designed as a form. So what are the form elements we are going to see here? Label is a form element. Input. How, which type of input you are going to get in that form? It is a, for, a, for example, a label is a na first name. The input should be in an alphabets. For example, the label is a mobile number. The input, what you are, get, you are going to get is a number. So, label, input and button and select, for example, if you want a drop down list, from there you can get an input, text area, field set, legend, data list, output and option. Option is also an another drop list. From that you can have several set of options you can select. This is an input element. How we are going to describe, for example, input type equal to test. So, in this particular field, you can get the receive as a text. Input equal radio button. So, we will be having some set of radio button. User can click the radio button. Another input is a checkbox. So, we will be displaying some checkbox. User can have a checkbox. He can, can take one or more checkboxes. Radio button is not like that. He have to select only one. So, when you want to have some set of things, it will be selected for 2 to 3. We go for a checkbox. For a submit button, we will be using a submit. So, this is a label element. Label element is nothing here. Tag is used for what are the things we have given in the label. It automatically displayed in the forms. That is called as a label. The label tag depends a label for many form element. The label element is useful for screen reader user because the screen reader will read out the loud the label when the user focus on the input element. The label element also helps the user who has difficulty clicking on every small region such as radio button or check boxes because when the user clicks the text within the label element, it toggles the radio button slash check boxes. The for attribute of the label tag should be equal to the ID attribute of the input element to bind them together. So there are some attributes which will be used in the form action attribute, target, method, auto complete attribute, no validate attribute. So form action, that is the form action equal to action underscore page dot php method equal to get target equal to blank. You can see here target attribute, action attribute and method attribute. 
both are used in the form action form action attribute method attribute target attribute label equal to first name so first name slash label this is automatically going to be displayed in the output input type equal to text id equal to first name where the text should be given after the first name so id equal to first name name equal to first name we have to given the break statement so first name we will be having one set of form box in the box you can have an input as a text and we will be having a submit button and we will be closing a form so what will be an output of this particular tag is first name we will be getting one box last name we will be getting in one other box and we will be having a submit button you can see the target attribute there are several target attributes blank the response is displayed in the new window or a tab self the response is displayed in the current window slash parent the response is displayed in the parent frame top the response is displayed in the full body of the window frame name the response is displayed in the named frame when we go for a method attribute we will be using some set of url variables from this form if you get uh, click some url you will be redirecting to another web page for that we will be giving a with method equal to get and when http as a post transaction with method equal to post the default http method can submitting from a data is a get method auto complete attribute specify whether the form should have auto complete on or off when the auto complete is on the browser will automatically complete the values based on the values that user have entered before no validated attribute is a boolean attribute when it when present it specifies the form data input should be validated when submitted these are the input types how the form input we it can be used as a button check boxes colors date date time local email file hidden image month number password radio range reset research sorry search submit tell text time url so these are the input these are the input attributes so this is a form we are going to design this form we are going to give a heading personal details this is the label this is the label this is the label this is the label this label the input type will be text this label the input type will be password this label input type will be gmail this label input type will be radio button this label input type will be number this label input type will be a drop box this label input type will be a drop box this label input type will be a check box check box this is another label where it is going to be a text this is an another label the we are going to have a button here once you click the button it will be allowing you to choose any some set of files from the desktop or local machine and you can attach and you can click the submit button so now we are going to see the coding for this form this is a form we are going to design in a web page now we are going to see the coding how we are going to execute this form so all the tags will be starting the html head title equal to form example head body color we have given yellow form alignment equal to center so in a web page the form should come in a center so we have given form align equal to center h3 is the heading style we have given the color for and personal data details that is in given for a heading then we go for a name that is in first label over here you can see name under the for the name you are given the input type equal to text name equal to name id equal to name another break statement password for password you are giving input type equal to password so when someone is typing a some set of word it will be coming as a unshared that is it should be coming in a password structure next email id input type equal to text name equal to name id equal to name gender input id equal to radio button so the radio button will be displayed you can see over here there are two radio buttons male and female so input type name equal to radio group 1 value equal to radio id equal to radio group 2 female br now they are going to give a contact that is it should, should be a number so input type equal to text name equal to mobile id equal to mobile another heading education qualification degree is a label select name equal to degree underscore id equal to degree id equal to degree option selected we are going to give this option that is select group from there we are going giving an option bcom bsc bcom ba 
So here we are going to this much of option. We are closing as select by slash select and br. Option is closed, then enter each, each line we are closing an option tag. Then we go for an, another label engineering. Select name equal to ENG, ID equal to ENG. Select option equal to select group and we are giving option, we are closing the selected. We are going for another label of hobbies, it is a checkbox. And another input type, we will be giving a checkbox for books, reading books. We will be another heading as address. Text area equal to text area which consists of 35 columns and 5 rows. So 35 columns and 5 rows consist of some set of words can be given in an address. Attached resume is a file, file field. File field is a name, id equal to file field which you take to the local machine to attach some set of PDF file, WAD file, JPEG file, anything. Input type equal to submit value equal, we are keeping a submit button. Then we are giving a slash form, slash body and slash HTML. Now we are going to run the same coding and we are going to see how the output will be. So here I have written all the codings for forms. Form or right equals the same thing I have written. Now I am going to save this file. gg.html I am going to save. In a desktop. It is already there. I am going to read this. Now what I am going to do is I am going to execute this HTML program. You can see over the form is there. See, actually, it is given as a code. So you can see here body background color equal to red, H3 equal to style, and here you can give yellow. And you can save this file. It will be coming a personal date. So you can see here the heading personal detail is displayed, name is a label displayed, input type equal to text, also you can write any text that is given, input type equal to text, id, password equal to password. So whatever thing I am typing in the it will not be displayed because we have given the input type as password. Then we go for a email id, I can give my email id at gmail, shift at gmail.com like that I can give. Then I can click the radio button, then I can give the numbers of my phone number, then I can select become engineer if I want engineering, I will be consulting in CS. What are the hobbies? Then I can type my address. When I click this choose file, I will be I can take any some set of files and I can attach over here and at last I can give a submit button. So this is a coding. If you want to change the background color as blue. You can write it as blue and you can save here and you can refresh it, it will become the blue. So in this video we have clearly seen how we are going to design a form in a web page.